The Green River is located in northeastern Utah, below the 91-mile-long Flaming Gorge Reservoir near the Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado borders. While traveling there, you'll have to pass through some of Utah's most beautiful scenery, including the Ashley National Forest. You'll find the Green River flowing from the base of the impressive 502-foot Flaming Gorge Dam. Fishing gear, guides, raft rentals, food and accommodations can be found at the Flaming Gorge Resort or at Trout Creek Flies. You'll also need a $5 recreation pass, which is available at Flaming Gorge Resort, Trout Creek Flies or at each boat ramp location around the reservoir and on the river. It's a blustery spring day today and I'm fishing upstream from the Little Hole Boat Ramp, which is seven miles downstream from the dam. There's a good foot trail from the dam down to Little Hole. You'll want to be prepared for water on the trail during spring runoff periods. When it's windy and fly fishing is tough, which is how it is today, I often pick up my spinning rod and a few select lures, which often saves the day. The trout in the Green River average oh, around 16 to 20 inches long, and they often like a big meal. Minnow imitating lures and marabou jigs are local favorites. Spinners and spoons in gold, silver, and bronze are also very effective. Most anglers that visit the river uh, prefer fly fishing. It's definitely the most popular fishing method here. Using midge, mayfly, and scud patterns are the daily workhorses. However, at times, caddis, cicada, hoppers, and large streamer patterns work well. Though I tried several patterns, I just couldn't fool the trout on flies today. The Green River is a large tailwater fishery, and as such, its waters are crystal clear most of the time. It's well known throughout the world for its world-class trout fishing. Now there's no secret about its 15 to 20,000 fish per mile. There are over 150,000 angler hours that are logged here each year, so on any given summer day, you won't likely be fishing alone. But don't let that keep you from coming. The fish are well adjusted to the pressures of thousands of anglers and recreational rafters. They often resume feeding normally within just a few minutes of the passing of obnoxious splashing recreational rafters going past. If you want more solitude, it's certainly available if you decide to fish the fall or the winter months. The fishing is good and the roads are well maintained year round. Wading is fairly easy and very popular along most of the river. For floating anglers, dories, large rafts, and pontoon float tubes designed for up to class three rapids are recommended.
The Green River is home to a healthy population of brown and rainbow trout, with a few cutthroat trout and mountain whitefish mixed in. There are special harvest restrictions and artificial fly and lure requirements here. No baits allowed. You'll want to pick up a copy of the regulations before fishing the river. One other item of consideration, there are invasive zebra mussels that are present here, so please protect our waters by cleaning your waders, boots, and other fishing gear before fishing in other waters nearby. Now come out and enjoy Utah's beautiful green river.